Tonight's Pay It Forward features a man many of you have seen before here on News 4, usually involving politics. Right. Lately, he's been making national news not for politics, but rather using his personal tragedy as fuel to help Oklahoma high school students. Join First Fidelity Bank and me as we pay it forward. Up the time. So this is Vito's bread that I make every day. Sean Cummings is loading up his ovens for another busy day at the two popular restaurants he owns and runs in northwest Oklahoma City. But there's someone missing from this picture, his beloved wife, Kathy. Kathy Cummings was the heart and soul of the business and a former mayor of the village. But tragically, she was struck with cancer and passed away recently. But in the days before her death, knowing her time was short, she and Sean talked about how she wanted to be remembered. She was really into politics. She was in it for the reasons to help people. And, and we wanted to come up with something that could be fixed. And that's rare. I mean, there's just almost nothing you can fix. So um, came up with the school lunch idea because we had a friend of ours. The kid owed $2.50 and couldn't get his transcript sent to a college that he had a scholarship at. I mean, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt in Oklahoma crazy. So in Kathy's name, he began a GoFundMe account to pay off school lunches, and the response has been amazing. Over $77,000 has been donated, and Sean is going to different schools all around the state, paying off the school lunch debt for hundreds of kids. And because of it, Tanya Hartman, who does not know Sean, nominated him for Pay It Forward. I lost my mom about a year ago to cancer, and after hearing that he lost Kathy the same way, um, it inspired me to just the way he's handled his grief and doing something really good for people and being very positive. Um, I wanted to do the same thing. Well, we're out here behind the restaurant right now. A nice, bright, sunny day. And we have, of course, Tanya, who nominated Sean. And Caitlin, our friend from First Fidelity Bank, she has a $400. And we're going to get the party started right now, Caitlin. Well, we were just so honored and excited to hear about how you nominated Sean. Um, the fact that he had such a devastating loss and now uses that to give back to others is very inspiring and we are all about supporting that and encouraging that. So we present you with $400 to give to Sean today. And then we surprise Sean. On behalf of First Fidelity Bank and yeah. KFOR, here's $400 more dollars to continue amazing. on with your mission. You. Okay, now you know Thank that's you. about 200 <laughs> meals if it's the $2 version. I mean, really, everybody always goes, oh, I don't know how much I have. And you go, five bucks is enough. Let's just get... It's astounding, and thank you. Well, maybe you can get something for Ruthie. <laughs> there you go. So if you, if for people that don't know, my dog travels with me. She was with my wife the whole time, and so she didn't know what to do. All right. So I take her. I know it means a lot to you, I can tell, and in, and in memory of Kathy. And, uh, I understand. I appreciate it. I'll give you a hug. It's okay. <laughs> yes, it's nice to meet you. Sean Cummings, taking a heart-wrenching loss and turning it into a victory by paying it forward. Kathy was something, and Sean is too. In one case of many, many, a student at one school wasn't wanting to eat so their sibling could enjoy the meal. The student didn't feel their parents could afford for both of them to have a lunch ticket. Sean, in Kathy's name, took care of oh, that, of gosh. course. If you would like to donate to the effort to pay off school lunch debts for kids, visit Sean Cummings' Facebook page.